Sir, uh, tanong ko lang po, um, ang, uh, ano po ba napapansin natin na past uh, few weeks before the elections, uh, yung incidents po ba ng election-related violence, are they on the rise or are they on the decline? Well, uh, for the past uh, couple of days, uh, may nakita po tayong uh, uh, ilang incidents uh, of uh, violence, uh, pero mga isolated ito at uh, they're not concentrated on a specific area. And... Uh, uh, since we are in the last stretch, the last week of the campaign period, uh, we expect na there would be some more of these uh, incidents to take place. Pero makakaasa po ating mga kababayan that the whole Philippine National Police is on full alert and we have deployed a total now of 149,000 uh, strong uh, PNP personnel to provide security not only for the public but for the uh, election day itself on Monday. Kaya handang-handa na po ang PNP at... Uh, Sa ngayon, ang naitala natin na uh, election-related incidents is uh, very low, no? Uh, mm -hmm. Very significant na uh, very low talaga. This is uh, 28 incidents uh, so far uh, compared to 106 uh, for the same period in 2016. Oh, that's a and, big drop. Uh, it is. Yes, yes. There's a big drop and uh, this is almost 76% uh, drop compared to the, the previous uh, midterm, or I mean the national election that was in 2016. So, uh, very significant ito. And uh, of course, uh, <coughs> some incidents continue to happen, of course, na hindi na talaga ma-prevent, but uh, we're doing our best, we're trying our best na uh, to really maximize our deployment and uh, that our police will be, would be seen so that uh, it would be a deterrent, uh, a deterrence to, to those who uh, intend to uh, uh, create uh, havoc or uh, trouble. So, uh, of the 28 incidents that we have recorded so far, beginning January 13 of this year, uh, 14 uh, were killed no, in, in these Colonel, uh, incidents. Colonel Banak, right. matanong ko lang, no, ano pong klaseng mga violent incidents yan usually? Yan po ba ay barilan, patayan, o ano man? Saksakan, o... Well, of the 28 uh, election-related incidents that we have recorded, uh, 19 are due to shooting incidents. Mm. Opo, uh, yun po talaga dahil uh, uh, with the use of uh, firearms. So, and and usually, they involve what? Uh, candidates, candidate supporters, or just ordinary citizens? Uh, both. Uh, both the candidates and the elected government officials who are incumbents and supporters po. So, parehong may distribution sa mga support. Pero pinakamarami po sa mga supporters. Uh, so, yun po ang mga na-record natin. Uh, well, uh, so far we have uh, recorded 14 deaths already. 14. And uh, 13 were injured. And 20 were unharmed. Uh, uh -huh. But uh, just the same, they figured in this... Uh, incidents, election-related incidents. But uh, we're, uh, we're positive that uh, we, can, we can maintain uh, this uh, status or this level of uh, uh, incidents until the election day itself. Uh, with the kind of uh, alert status that we have, uh, talaga napakahigpit po, lalo na yung ating uh, uh, police operations na isinasagawa ngayon against uh, suspected na mga uh, individuals, elected uh, officials uh, suspected to be uh, hiding loose firearms so patuloy ang monitoring natin so we can uh, apply for search warrants and go after mm -hmm. these uh, loose firearms. Colonel, Yun po ang, uh, Colonel I, I'm, I'm wondering, Colonel, kasi ang laki ng binagsak uh, ng numbers ninyo, if you're looking at uh, this year's numbers compared to 2016, eh, you're looking at only, what, 30-35% of uh, the number of incidents in uh, 2016. Bakit po ang laki ng binagsak sa tingin ninyo? Anong uh, dahilan kung bakit ang laki ng binagsak ng violence? Oh, well, uh, prime, uh, first and foremost, yung early preparation natin na sa, sa election, the early preparation, the security preparations that we have uh, conducted, uh, malaking na itulong nito yung intensified campaign against loose firearms and uh, the, uh, the implementation of search warrants against uh, uh, elected uh, government officials suspected to be hiding uh, loose firearms or maintaining a private uh, uh, armed group. So makita natin, no? there have been a lot of... Uh, uh, raids na isinagawa ng ating uh, PNP, maging ang CIDG. And, uh, well, of course, malaki ang naitulong um, 
it seems na maraming mga areas na uncontested. Yung uncontested, walang, walang kalaban. <laughs> walang laban, ah, walang kalaban. Sabagay, oh. kung, kung so, walang kalaban, eh. <laughs> yeah, so, the, walang awa yun. Contribution. Wala, oh. wala talaga. So, walang violence, walang incident, so, dahil uncontested. <laughs> oh, malaking bagay din yun. So, ah, and then, of course, uh, we attribute it also to the high level of awareness now na, ng public uh, mm -hmm. with the advent of social media. Uh, if you do a violence, no, uh, man eh, hindi mo may tatago. Uh, ang bilis mahanap talaga ng mga kwan ngayon, ng mga suspects. At mm. uh, for sure, if you do uh, illegal acts, uh, you will be prosecuted, you will be charged. No? Uh, madali na ngayon talaga dahil sa ang bilis ng information ngayon with the social media. So, yun po, yung mga factors na yan, we, we look at them as the, as the reasons why mababa ang incidents natin ngayon po.